outro cast. Hey, Giselle, how was your day going aside from talking to this guy? You know, it's been super fantastic. Um, I always love talking to you guys and, you know, here we are. How about you? How was your day? Nonstop, but good. You were interview number three of the day. Oh, yay. We're, we're just spoiling it and we're saying you're the best interview of the day. And oh, we're well, set up you. because final resolution is in just a couple of weeks. Now, that's the last impact pay-per-view before it becomes that's TV. Correct. Mm-hmm. That's correct. So it'll be December 9th at the Don Culver Arena in Toronto. And we also have um, the Motor City Machine Guns versus Josh Alexander and Zack Sabre Jr. announced already. So I feel like that's already, you know, um, worth it just for that match already. Right. It's it's loaded with great Canadian heroes. Yes. Well, and Zack and Zach Sabre Jr. <laughs> and Zack Sabre Jr. Uh, who are you battling on Final Resolution? Do we know yet? I, you know what? That hasn't been announced yet. So I'm just going to go, mm, and then hopefully people will tune in because the quintessential diva always delivered, darling. So we see you there. Do we then see <laughs> you at Hard to Kill in Vegas? I mean, I will be there. I don't know yet. Um, I don't want to, you know... Um, put anything out there that's not announced yet but uh definitely tna wrestling is back and that's going to be at the palms for the first time january 13th and uh we have trinity versus jordan grace and uh we have moose uh, versus alex shelley so it's going to be really exciting and we also have uh snake eyes the following day january 14th so you've been to vegas a bunch of times now do you yeah. now, when you get to Vegas, know, okay, this is breakfast, this is lunch, this is dinner. Do you have it planned out like that? Uh, sometimes I do. Like, I love Vegas so much. And I feel like, um, you know, I may support the Vegas Knights <laughs> already. So, uh, yeah, I, I think it's such a fabulous city and there's always something to do. And it's just, you know, if you're looking for entertainment, Las Vegas is the way to go. Now, speaking of travel... I had a moment uh, two, three months ago, the wife and I were in Canada on a press trip watching TV before we got to dinner. And there you are on TV. You and Gail are on Amazing Race Canada. <laughs> I, I yes. may or may not have reached out to uh, the public relations person at your company. To yes. Go, what? Huh? <laughs> was that an enjoyable experience for you? Yeah, no, it was It was so fantastic. Um I feel like Gail and I never really have the chance at work, you know, to just really get personal and talk about, um, you know, like in a, in, a, in a deeper level of conversation because we're so like busy and just on the go. So this was just so perfect because I think it was like two weeks or something like that, that we had to pretty much, you know, be roommates traveling all the time and just doing everything together. And we just, have such a closer bond now and I wouldn't trade it for anything else in the world. That as an outsider looks like the most stressful reality show of any to be on because it was because <laughs> now here's what how I see it. Survivor they're kind of sitting around all day so that they're bored. The amazing mm-hmm. race is the exact opposite where there's something to do with every single second. You don't know what's going to get thrown at you. You don't know what's going to be in your skill set or your partner's skill set. Yeah. So it actually is that stressful. It's super, super stressful. You don't know what's happening. You don't know what's going on. And you're just like constantly like, oh my God, like we need to get to this place, you know? And um, I think like one of the challenges that we had to do was, you know, the the, the clue was who's book smart? And we're just like, oh, like who is it going to be? And I'm like, you know what? Like I'll take it. And the challenge ended up being like, you have to be at the top of the building and then um, rappel down, facing forward to the ground where you're looking for words. So it was it was really interesting. And um, yeah, it's you never know what's coming at you at Amazing Race Canada. Now, you had it even harder because not only did you have all that pressure, but you also <laughs> sort of had to do kayfabe while all that's going on, too. Well, I mean, like Gail is, you know, kind of like the boss lady um, and keeps us in line. So uh, it wasn't like a big deal, you know, no storylines there. But um, it was, yeah, it was just fantastic, like being with her and being on the road with her and, you know, just really get to know the real Gail. Sure. So and vice versa. If they say, hey, Giselle, we want you to be on this reality show next. Would you do that again? I feel like the next reality show that I would do would be like 
you know, like, uh, like Kardashian's height of reality show, where it's just about me. There's no pressure. I get to, you know, just do me. And hopefully that's, you know, interesting enough for the viewers out there. Yeah, well, you have a very interesting spot in Impact where you always have your own division in a way. Like yeah. you, you wrestle anybody you kind of want. You always look glamorous, et cetera. Oh, thank you. So when you came into Impact, did you know, hey, this is a long-term thing? Or was it a couple of shots and then you wowed them and it just kept getting extended? So I, so the first opportunity that I've had with Impact Wrestling was in 2018. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I really felt like I was like, I think I'm ready. I'm ready. But I just was not, you know, uh, I feel like I may be under delivered um, during that time. And I needed to, you know, really hone my craft and, you know, just be more crisp. So um, and have more buzz, you know, with your name. So that's when I decided to go to the UK and live there for three years, hone my craft and, you know, just got uh, train 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 all the time and um, impact wrestling came around and asked me if i'd like to sign and the rest of the history yeah so you've been there for a few years now has it been about three years since you've been in uh, impact uh, full-time? i'm in my third year right yeah is there anyone you haven't yet worked with that you're still hoping that you get to work with and w yes you hate their guts of course you hate their guts <laughs> and yeah you know, I really feel like I have wrestled everybody. Um, but if I have the chance to have a one-on-one -on -one with this person, I would say it would be Gail Kim. Uh, I think that would be a massive, you know, bucket list um, for me. And she has so much to offer still, you know, in my opinion. And she's such a wealth of knowledge. And I'd love to just pick her brain in the ring. Right. Figuratively Gail. and literally. <laughs> well, I uh, rudely interrupted you there, but Gail retired early. She retired young. She didn't retire a broken down person. She retired yeah. to the point that you go, yeah, she can come back every six to nine months if it feels right. Of course. And and you know what? Like she had that, you know, she was in the 10 knockouts um, match that we had in uh, the 1000 episode. Mm -hmm. So, and and she can go still. Like, it's like she hasn't even, you know, um, what is that? Like, like a rustiness to her, like nothing. Right. So over over to you, keeping the compliments going here, uh, being the most glamorous person on the roster, we know oh. that, consistent and all that. We don't know anything about you, the person, like, off screen. Like, for example, what does Giselle listen to musically? What does Giselle do mm -hmm. for fun? Does Giselle have a side hustle? Does Giselle have a coffee line? Is there anything else that we're allowed to know about you? Um, I, I feel like I, you know, that's maybe something that um, I'm kind of missing in wrestling. Like, I do see, like, let's say, for example, Jordan Grace. You know, Jordan Grace, like, puts out like some of her personal stuff out there and uh, it, people really connect with that. So I think that I am trying a little bit to um, do that as well and like give uh, people, you know, uh, like little bits here and there of my personal life because I really do feel like people want to know that. And, um, you know, maybe I'll just do like a lie or something and do like a Q&A and just have fun with my fans. So really what you want us to know, we will know through social media and that's where it ends. Yeah, I feel like, you know, <laughs> I, I, know. <laughs> I really feel like the quintessential diva, you know, um, it's like, I, I, I think I let you see what I want you to see. And, um, and I feel like maybe that's like the mystery of it. Right. I mean, there's two ways to go with that without naming names. There's the wrestlers who show themselves getting tacos and you know the camera goes on and they go hey guys you know that kind of yeah thing. they show their coffee spot and then i mean the, the other ones just go this is this is my match yeah it's my match I, I, <laughs> i'm a bit baffled you know what i mean that um people would be interested in let's say if i was like eating tacos or something or whatever or if i'm like hey guys like i'm stuck in traffic like i'm not really quite sure what my fans want me to um you know what content they want me to put out there but i guess that just comes back to maybe i'll just do like a live and you know do a q a and see what they want and you know we'll talk about it and maybe i'll put it out there 
Right. Show that you're somewhat nice, but not too nice. I mean, I don't know if I'm that nice. <laughs> well, uh, last two questions before I let you go. The first one is, what music do you train to when you have the choice of the radio or the stereo or the Spotify, whatever it is? You know what? Uh, I love Taylor Swift. I'm not really, I'm, I'm pretty sure some of the fans that actually follow me, <laughs> I think they know that I love Taylor Swift because I publicly go, oh my God, I love Taylor Swift. Um, and yeah, like she's just so fantastic. I feel like there's so many genres that, you know, she can do. And if you feel like you're like, yeah, you know what? I want to rock it with uh, country. You can do it. If you want to do pop, you can do it. Um, I do know people that listen to like sad songs at the gym because that's just what fuels them. And I know it is what it is, but <laughs> I don't to each their own. <laughs> each their own. And then the last question for you, obviously you're the most fashionable person on the Impact roster, but oh, who you. is the second most fashionable? Is it Moose? You know, Moose definitely um, has interesting fashion. I would say, but I feel like the next most fashionable person would be Trinity. That girl, like her, her wardrobes are just, you know, insane. And um, they're very unique. For, for me, it's, am I going to wear the black t-shirt and the hoodie or the black t-shirt and the hoodie? And Trinity yeah. pulls off a lot of colors. Most people would not dare to pull off. It's so colors. bright. Yeah. It's so bright. I don't, I wouldn't even dare to you know try it because i would just look like a, a super like a just a hot mess <laughs> unless that were the new character you were trying to pull off then that would oh, work hopefully we, mean, we don't want to see you the hot mess mm, i don't know i don't know about that you know i think that's been done and i think she did really fantastic so i'm never going to touch that <laughs> well giselle thank you for the great years on camera looking forward to what's to come yeah. final resolution was it hard to kill as the one in vegas yes so we have hey, December guys. 9th. Yeah, so December 9th in Toronto is going to be Final Resolution. And they've already booked, again, the Motor City Machine Guns uh, versus Josh Alexander and Zach Xavier Jr. And in Las Vegas, TNA Wrestling comes back. So January 13th, it's going to be Hard to Kill. Uh, announced already, we have Moose versus um, uh, Alex Shelley. And we also have Trinity versus Jordan. And uh, January 14th, we have Snake Eyes. So come and see us. I think it'll be really fun. Um, hop in in a new adventure with us. Outro cast. <laughs>